What's going on guys, Trapadouski here. Today we're going to do another beginner's guide for Path of Exile. And since we've been focused on speed farming for a while, I wanted to go back to the basics and talk about something that's gonna be really helpful for you day one guys out there. Today we're gonna to cover the jeweler's trick for getting off colors on sockets. And we're also going to talk about the Verici calculator, a very, very powerful tool for understanding the best and most efficient way for getting the right colors on your items. So to start this off, let's talk about off coloring a helm or a piece of armor, right? And we're specifically for me, I'm gonna talk about the four links today, but it works the same no matter how many you're going for. Now, for our instance or our example, we're gonna be talking about a helm like this, right? So if I were doing a miner, right? Like a, you know, an arc miner or the ice spear mine's really popular right now. I'm going to want a helm for my secondary mine that has remote mine and place an additional mine. Now, sometimes you're going to find a helm that has the perfect stuff that you need. So the perfect prefixes and suffixes, but you're going to realize, oh shit, this is a strength based helm, meaning that it's really hard to get blue and green sockets on, meaning they mostly roll red and I need three blues and a green on this thing. How am I gonna do this without spending ungodly amounts of chromatic orbs? Well, this is where we touch on the jeweler's trick. Now, the jeweler's trick is all that's going to require to get the, the correct colors is uh, you're gonna need your three and four link, or your three and four socket recipe, which you get from the Delve on your bench, and you're gonna need some jeweler's orbs, right? So in this instance, you can actually get the colors you need on a helmet without needing very many chromatics, right? Chromatics are more of a pain in the ass to farm. They're typically filtered out of our loot filters and pretty much no matter what, no matter what tier you're on, you're gonna be picking up six socket items and getting these jeweler orbs. So, so the process to do this would be, you're gonna get yourself to two sockets, right? Two sockets, and then you'll use a couple of chromes to hit you know, blue, blue, or blue, green, or two of the four off colors that you need on this strength-based helm, right? Then that's all you need for a chromatics, okay? We're gonna come to the bench and we're gonna go down to the socket area. And the really neat thing about this is for three jewelers, I can get a third socket, right? It has a chance to be strength, dex, or int, right? It's most likely gonna be strength, but it has that chance to be the off color every time you roll it, right? So if you've accumulated some jewelers, we can hit three. And when we flip back to two, when we didn't get our, our blue socket, it stays with the same colors you had previously. And this goes for every tier here, right? So we're gonna just flip flop between two and three until we see a blue socket there. Now, a lot of times this is going to be much, much cheaper to do than rolling with the chromatic orbs as if you were to pull up the calculator, which we're gonna discuss in a little while, I can show you how much it would cost in chromes to, most, to get the right color combination on this helm. And it's a ton. I think we're like talking 2,500 chromes minimum because of the crazy strength requirements on this thing. But we started out with about 500 jewelers and we're gonna see if we can't hit this in a pretty efficient amount of time. Now we did get a green here, but we need three blues. So, you know, feels bad. We're gonna take this off, right? So we just keep on going. There's our blue socket, right? So we've hit our third of the fourth and they're all off colors. Look at the requirements on this is 138 strength. There's no int, no dex, meaning that these are the hardest things to hit, okay? So now we just go up to the four and repeat that process, hit four, we get it on our first roll, right? But normally that's not gonna happen. So in an instance where you wanted to, say this had come out red, if we hit three and hit three again, it's going to stay green, blue, blue, right? So you can just keep going four, three, four, three, four, three. And just now for, you know, less than 200 jewelers orbs, which we're picking up constantly while we're running around, we've just turned a 138 strength helmet into a three green or three blue and one green socket ready to go for our pseudo five link arc mine, right? So this thing, this is a super, super powerful way to get the off colors on a helm that doesn't have the right, right stat base, right? So since this is strength, it has a higher likelihood to roll red. If it were blue, it would be intelligence, intelligence based. And if it were dex, it would be, you know, the green. So dexterity is green, int is blue, strength is red. So we've just off colored this. 
The next thing we're gonna talk about is the Verici calculator. Now this comes in really, really handy uh, when trying to figure out, okay, I've got an eternity shroud, but my build needs four red sockets, right? And as you can see, when you look at requires level 65, 107 decks, 90 int. How do I know what's the cheapest way via chromatic orbs to get four red sockets on this with the highest likelihood? So we're going to pull up the Verici calculator, okay? So this tool, which I will put in the description below, is a tool where you can come over, take a look at the requirements on your chest, right? So. Uh, here we have 107 decks and 90 int, right? So I've typed those in. The total number of sockets we have is six, and my desired colors are four red, one green, one blue. Then we click calculate, and it's going to spit out all these numbers. And if you look, this is just using a regular Chrome. This is on the bench, one red, one green, one blue, and then through all of the different available options on the bench. So as you can see, the cheapest way, there are two ways that are identical. Uh, using Verici 3 would be about eight attempts, or and it's 120 attempts, so 995 for that 8.3, right? So that's the average cost to doing force three sockets on the bench to be red. And the other one that's identical here is Verici 1 red, right? 995.1. Now in my instance or my preference to do here is I would say, okay, I'm probably going to do one red because if I get super lucky and it hits early, I've saved myself a ton. Whereas if I don't get lucky and I'm spending 120 per roll, then it may end up costing me thousands of chromatics to color this thing, right? So I normally go with the lowest as long as it's really close to or happens to be the best average cost on the Verici calculator. Now, before we wrap this video up, it is gonna be short and sweet. I do wanna talk about how hard it would have been to hit with chromatics or how much it would have cost to get this three blues and one green, right? So we have a strength helm. Let's take a look at our, uh, our deal here. So we have a total of four sockets. Uh, it's 138 strength and then zero decks, zero. And we need three blues and one green, right? Calculate the best price in chromatics to get the right colors we need. 1,274 at 100 chromes per attempt for one green and two blue on the bench. So by doing the jeweler's trick, not only do we save ourselves a ton of currency in the potential chromatics that we would have purchased to do this roll, you know, 10 to 12 times, plus we got the opportunity to do this for, for next to nothing, right? That took us, I mean, granted, we got super, super lucky there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for checking out all of these beginner guides we're doing. Now, I know that today's topic was a super simple topic, but I feel like these are the kinds of things that most people overlook, right? Most of the time, you know, most of us kind of assume that a lot of you guys know this stuff and you don't, right? So. If you guys like this style of video, let me know. We'll keep putting out quick, you know, eight, 10 minute videos talking about, you know, the jeweler's trick or any other of these really, really simple mechanics that make your life so much easier. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I do want to do a huge shout out to everybody that's been, you know, hitting the sub button, throwing all the likes out there. We have gotten a ton of people in the community recently, and I really, really can't thank you guys enough. We're going to have a lot more of these videos coming soon. The next one that I'm actually working on today is another crafting guide. We're going to start that series up again. We're going to do some gloves, and then we're also going to start touching on some more Atlas stuff, talk about the Xana quest, a bunch of other things are coming for you new players out there. Don't forget, we stream on Twitch five days a week. That's twitch.tv slash dropadooski. Come by anytime, ask questions while I'm live, or we can get you the Discord channel link there and you can jump on in, ask questions anytime you'd like, day or night. And we have a gilding game. Everybody's welcome to join, guys, as long as we got room. Thank you guys so much. Good luck on those drops, and we'll see you soon. Peace.